guys, welcome back to Grace's room. Happy New Year everyone. This is actually the very first video I've made in 2019, so that's cool. Today I'm back with another story time because you guys seem to like my other ones I've done. And I'm going to be talking about my childhood stories. Most of these stories probably happened when I was around the ages two and seven. And I thought that it'd be fun to share some of these stories with you guys. So this first story happened when I was between the ages four and five, so I had just started school and I remembered I loved doing hairdressing, it was like one of my favourite things to do, I'd always play with my dolls, sometimes cut their hair and stuff, and I remember one day, well I didn't know how to tie up my hair when I was younger, so my parents always had to do it, and one day I couldn't be bothered asking to redo it, and I had like this really long flyaway or frizz coming out of my hair, my ponytail, so I thought I put my hairdressing skills to work and I got a pair of scissors from the bathroom and I cut it off. I didn't actually cut it all the way from like the root, it was kind of like halfway. So I just had this really weird piece of hair sticking out and I thought I just got away with it. But then an hour later, mum called out to me because she found all this hair in the bathroom sink and I was guilty. And for like the rest of the year, I had this really weird flyaway just coming out of my hair. I should not have cut my hair. So this next story happened when I was about three years old. I remember we just came back from Disney on Ice and I was like in love with like all the Disney princesses. Um, it was like my favorite thing. So when I got home, I put on my pair of socks that didn't have any grip, so it was quite slippery. And since the floor was quite smooth, I was able just to kind of glide around it. And as soon as we got home, I put them on and I was started twirling around the table and stuff. I thought I was very graceful and like a princess. We also had this couch to the side that was quite hard, like the back of it. It was like timber or something. So when I was twirling and stuff, I actually spun into this table and like ran into it. And I hit my eyebrow here, that's why I have this scar, and it split, it was bleeding a lot. My mum panicked and my dad had to take me to the doctors to get stitches. I just remember it not be, looking very pretty and I think I was quite brave, my dad told me when I got the stitches. But that's why I have this scar. It's very annoying. I think I sometimes I like to fill it in with like some eyebrow stuff because it's very annoying like the way like the hair's grown because hair doesn't grow there anymore. It kind of grows like around it. So now they're kind of like different shapes, but yeah, silly me. So this story happened when I was about five or six years old. I remember my mum took me to the football, which is the Australian rules football for those of you that don't know what I'm referring to. And I remember I was very excited. I hadn't been in a while. I've only been to like two games before, so it was like my third. And I wore like my scarf and like my jumper or something. And mum also brought a lot of food for me since I loved to eat when I was younger. And I, just in case I got bored, mum just bought lots of snacks for me to snack on for the whole entire game. Um, and basically we got to the game and as soon as I got there, I already started eating. I remember I had like a hot dog, I had like some Twix bars, some chocolate, some fruit, some vegetables, I had everything. <laughs> I ate a lot of food for the whole entire game. And I remember it was near the end of the game, my team was like losing, so everyone was kind of like mm, and stuff. So um, I, my stomach started to hurt a little bit and I remember I was lying down like on my mum because I told her I wasn't feeling well. And all of a sudden I just threw up everywhere. When I say everywhere, I mean everywhere. Like I think I actually remember it going on like the lady's purse in front of me, but <laughs> Hopefully she, she wasn't mad, <laughs> but I remember I was like going down the stairs I was still throwing up everyone was just staring at me and I think I finally stopped when I got to like the bathroom But it just went like every I just wouldn't stop it like went on forever and Yes, we weren't very happy that night because of course we lost and then we just went home after that as well And I just remember I haven't been to the football since because it's kind of scarred me <laughs> This next one happened when I was about seven years old. I was in second grade and I used to cry every time I went to school. Like every single day I went to school, every, t every time like my parents would leave me, i probably cry for like the next hour and finally calm down. And this would like always happen, like I don't know why, like I never stopped and stuff. And my parents used to try and stop me from crying by taking away like my dolls for like about a week and if I didn't cry for a week then I'd get them back. I think they also kept like records as well every time I cried and didn't. And you're probably wondering, Grace, why were you crying every single day? 
Well, I think I remember it was because there was this girl at school and she used to sort of boss me around and I was a bit afraid of her and I didn't like it. So I'd always be scared to go to school every single day and I'd cry. So by the end of the year, I was better at it. And yes, I just remember I was not happy every time they took away my dolls and I'd always try and stop myself from crying and I'd be very happy when I got them back. But then when I got them back, I'd start crying the next day. So then they got taken away again. This next story happened when I was between the ages probably like seven and eight. So basically I hated concerts. Like all the loud music used to make my stomach upset and stuff. So that's why I didn't really go to many when I was younger. The first concert I ever went to was Katy Perry. It was like for her Prism album. And I remember we got there, I went with my dad and like my auntie and my cousin maybe. And I remember that we, as soon as we got in there, there was like some music already going on. And this was like my very first concert. I was very like nervous and stuff. Like there was a lot of people there. So my dad had to actually take me out of like the concert and I got earbuds and I kind of walked around for a little bit. And then I went back and she sung and all that and it was really good. It was, I enjoyed it. So basically, I think maybe a year later, my auntie was going to take me to a Demi Lovato concert and I loved Demi Lovato back then. So I was like, yeah, I'll go. <laughs> so I remember we got there, before we got there, I think we went on like a tram or something to get there and I was all really excited, very hyper and we got to the concert. We didn't actually have seats, we were like near the mosh pit. So we were standing up and there was just like some music before she came out and we're just dancing. And I think it was probably about 20 minutes before she'd come on stage, before she came on stage. And my stomach just started to hurt a little bit. I think it was all kind of just hitting me that there's gonna be really loud music and stuff. And like there was all these people around here. So I don't know why, but I just started freaking out and like I got like a really bad sore stomach. So my auntie took me out of like the concert and because I told her I need to go to the bathroom. And I remember I just started crying, like I was in the bathroom, like crying and all that. And by then, like she, Demi Lovato had already come out and we could just like hear her singing and I could just hear it was so loud. And I don't know, I just like, don't know why, but I just kept on carrying on and like my stomach was hurting so bad. I felt so bad for my auntie because she had just had to sit there with me the whole time. And in the end, she ended up missing out. Well, we both missed out on the whole entire concert and like my cousins and auntie ended up like seeing it and stuff and they came out as well because I thought like I was dying or something. <laughs> So yes, um, ever since then, my auntie has never asked me to come to a concert with her, just in case I've never been asked to go to a concert with anyone ever again. <laughs> so I was around two years old and I had just started doing swimming lessons. And the first lesson that I went to, I was so happy. I was having so much fun in like the little kid pool and everything. And I just remember I had so much fun and my dad was so upset that he didn't bring the camera because apparently I was very cute. <laughs> Anyway, so basically the next lesson, he made sure that he bought the camera and he was very wrong to bring it because I cried for the entire lesson. Like, I mean the entire lesson. Like sometimes I calm down a little bit, but then I'd start losing it. Like I just cried and cried and cried. The teacher couldn't cheer me up. Like I just could not stop crying. I didn't even know why I was crying because I was having so much fun the last time. And dad was not happy that he actually bought the camera. But now that I look at it, it's kind of funny to watch because it was just funny because I was just so upset. And I just think, wow, how annoying was I? <laughs> how embarrassing is that? So I was about five years old and we went on our very first trip overseas. We went to Disneyland and I remember I was super excited because I love Disney, the Disney princesses and everything Disney. So the night that we got there, it was quite late at night, like probably nine o'clock or something. And that's when we actually heard the fireworks coming from the castle. And as soon as I heard them, I was like, nah, don't like it. I think when I was younger, I did not like loud noises at all. And as soon as I heard them, I just, it hurt my, it upset my stomach and I'd already decided then like, no, I don't want to go see them tomorrow. But my parents, like they really wanted to see them. So the next day when we went to the park and everything, we, like I met the Disney princesses. I actually have my little autograph book. And see, I have like all the signatures and stuff. I met, I love the Disney princesses. So I was very excited. 
Um, yeah, so we went on like all the rides and stuff and it was about 9.30, which is when the fireworks start and my parents kind of tricked me. So the fireworks came the fireworks came on and my parents thought like, oh, maybe I would like it as soon as like I saw it. But as soon as I saw it, I just put my hands over my ears and I started screaming. I wouldn't look at them. I was just screaming and crying like I did not want to watch them. So my parents actually had to go find some headphones for me to put on. But still, I was screaming. I was not happy. I did not like the fireworks. So it was a little bit disappointing because like I said, my parents thought I'd really like it because it wasn't like... Tinkerbell come or something with the fireworks and stuff. So yeah, they thought I'd really enjoy it, but I did not at all. I just was not having it. Before I tell this last story, most of you probably don't know that I used to hate seeing blood. I've gotten better after the past few years, but when I was younger, I did not like it at all. As soon as I saw it, it made me feel really, really sick and I did not like seeing it at all. Like in movies, in real life, no, did not like blood. So I was about seven years old and my mum quickly had to run to the supermarket so I was in the car with my brother and my dad and I was just on my iPod watching videos and since I was like, obsessed with Justin Bieber I was watching his video clip for As Long As You Love Me and I remember there's like one scene in it where the dad and Justin are like, having a fight or something and one of them starts like bleeding like badly I remember so well, as soon as I saw it I felt instantly so sick. My mum actually came back from the supermarket and she said I went pale and like my lips were blue. And they were almost going to call an ambulance. Like that's how bad I looked. Look, I looked like I had seen a ghost or something. So they kept on asking me like, Grace, what's wrong? And I'm like, nothing. And then eventually I told them and that video had scarred me for life. Like I can't believe they're almost going to call an ambulance. Like that's how bad I looked. <laughs> Well, those are all the stories that I have for you guys today. Well, the ones that I could remember. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if there are any other story times that you'd like me to do because I'd love to hear them. Well, I'll see you next time on Grace's Room. Bye for now.